Hey guys, my name is Master Sherman, and welcome back for more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we progressed through the Pirates Grotto and made it all the way up to the end. And let's head on in. Ooh, you ignored my warnings. Come in the door and be lost in darkness. Ooh, come into my hack the hork. <coughs> Quite an entrance. Enough, I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. I'm pirate plastic, pirates do not moan. I'm cold blooded villain who robs innocent lives and loot, not crying ghosts. And you are after my treasure. And this is this is my ship. What are you doing here? Speak. I'll turn your mustache into a bone pillar, amigo. <laughs> Anyways, meet Cortez, the boss of chapter 5. Cortez is actually kind of tough, I will honestly admit to this. <clears throat> I'm going to be using Power Lift here because I think that would be a very wise ability to use off the beginning of the battle here. <clears throat> because boosting our stats could help a lot. Um, come on, I'm not doing a great job with this. These are all defense arrows. Oh, come on. Eh, plus two on each stat, that's not so bad, I guess, but not the best thing in the world. <laughs> Anyways, we're, you can actually use choose to attack two things here. You can attack Cortez, or you can attack the Bone Pile. Each share the same 20 HP. And Cortez does quite a ridiculous animation there. <laughs> I kind of prefer attacking the Bone Pile, because I find it a bit easier to attack. And I think that this bomb squad's gonna kill this thing here soon, so. <laughs> uh, Cortez has three phases. It's actually a multi phase boss fight. And each phase has a. Uh, <clears throat> two form, like uh, 20 HP. So it's basically the entire boss has 60 HP. So now begins up phase two. And right off the bat, he takes a lot of. How did my power lift run out already? I don't even have enough star points to use power with. What the hell? Oh, but this is gonna be good here. Oh, yes, definitely. I'll take a spell right now. And <clears throat> the spell still didn't run off yet, and I really screwed that up. I'll just use Bomb Squad again, I guess. This guy, I believe his ability is just to boost his attack power, but I believe that I should be able to finish him off before he has much of a chance to use that ability, so... I want that froze bobbery, no, 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 this is gonna kill me a bit. Damn it, no, no, that's actually not a good thing at all there. Wow, now, how did I actually survive that? Dang! Is the next phase, or... What? Yeah, it's the next phase, alright. Anyways, believe it or not, you want to switch out to... Take your guess who? You actually want to switch out to someone during this phase. Switch to good old boobs again. And I don't have enough BP to use Gale Force! Um, Thunder Rage, I guess. That's the only thing I can think of at this time. <laughs> okay. Bad, bad, bad mistake. Okay, now. Um. Um. Yeah, I should probably heal up here. Uh. Actually, clock out, I guess. I think he should be able to be stunned by clock out. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to. This is getting into, like, the dumbest situation for a boss battle ever. Like, I don't see how I'm screwing up so badly here. Like, okay, great. He is stunned. And I can definitely finish him off in the amount of time remaining. <sighs> okay, good. Cortez really is almost over, actually. As hard as it is to believe. 
Oh crap, his other weapons too, I forgot about that. Uh, that's not good. Although this actually is pretty good though, because I know what I can do. Now why you actually want to bring Flurry out, uh, Punish Syrup I guess. Why you actually kind of want to bring Flurry out here is because of her Gale Force ability. So let's use Gale Force here. And... <laughs> Gale Force is actually the secret to beating this guy. It, it works on pretty much all those weapons and it'll permanently send them out of the battle. And I'll use Spin Jump. And we just killed Cortez. Even though he was already dead, so that the logic doesn't make any sense there. And thank you, level up. And trust me, you might want to get a level up if you don't feel that you're going to be doing too great in the next part. Okay, let's go with this. Upgrade. BP. Again. I definitely don't want to use Flurry for what's going to come up, actually. <laughs> there isn't actually, like, another phase of Cortez here. I'm done for. Yo, 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 you foolish me, yo, for I'm not dead. Technically, I was already dead, but my spirit endures. I tried to return her. See, I do anything with me. I do not live with me, yo. So, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You're not even interested in my treasure? Why are you here? Huh? You want this, amigo? This little rock over here? Are you serious? Oh, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need it for? What do I need two extra gems for? I did not really like that one anyway. And... You got a crystal star! Star powers have six, and Mario learned the special move, Sweet Beast! <clears throat> and of chapter! Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario is soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the crystal star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer needed the fear of Cortez and his followers of the ship. The only problem remaining, how Mar will Mario escape the isolated down? How could be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? Yes, we will want to save here, believe me. And, this video is still not over yet. Because technically, there's still another part to this chapter. Yeah, Cortez wasn't the only final boss in this chapter. Uh, who do I want to use for the next part here? Uh, I think I'm gonna put Flower Saver on finally. Uh, um, I guess Vivian, I get honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Vivian could work pretty well, I guess. Actually, I need Yoshi for this part here, so... Actually, I think I'm gonna keep Yoshi. Yoshi might seem a bit better. Anyways. Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? Yahoo! You beat Cortez? Wow, you're really something. Yes, now that you've got some free time, why don't you get us out of here? Um. All that shaking caused this wall to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break the, down the wall, I think we could escape. It's not much to help. <clears throat> okay then. Let's do what the Toad said. Can I actually do this? Okay, well that's what I need to do. Anyways, we can use Bobbery. And, how it worked, just like I said. Well, me first. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. <clears throat> let's go. Now we have a bunch of toads. Thankfully, we didn't have to escort them like we did with the punies in Chapter 2. Oh my god, that would have sucked. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you, but I need to leave now. And, uh... I'm still debating on who I want to use. I guess I'll use Yoshi here. You'll see what I mean. Anyways, if you head out here, I'm actually going to go get another whack a bump now that I'm in the area. And we're already out here. Now, you have a quick, easy, convenient shortcut into the Pirate's Grotto, actually. 
and just take that area in there. I don't care how that leads into that area of the Pirate's Grotto, but whatever. Anyways, let's go see. Never mind, let's get Flavio to come see us. Hi, Mario, welcome back. Keep nice. Uh, that'll work, Captain. So, have you found the treasure? How's our little expedition for here? What? The spirit of Cortez is guarding the treasure. And you beat him in time and lift all the treasure there? Arr, what were you thinking? Are you trying to be nice? Oh, well, I guess that's not like about you. Could it be? Brother. You, what are you doing here? I I came looking for you, brother, all the way down. I kinda heard of wonder kinda wonder how the they managed to find like the find him after all this time and what the Like considering all the toads look the same, I wonder how he was able to know that, that one was his brother. What hold on, huh? What was that? What is that? Pardon me, guys. Buh, I mean, buh. <laughs> Sir, just surprise you. No, wait, no need for that big politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star. Oh yeah, seriously, good job getting it for me. Oh yeah, ain't that good old four eyes? Yeah, that is four eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, hey, four eyes, it's dangerous up there. Listen to this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you, idiots. I may have, you may have known me as for us. I'm actually... Boo! <laughs> the Great Lord Crump! Oh, man. Did I fool you? I was the mastermind in the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now, Maru, enough of this. I'm gonna schedule your hand over the Crystal Star. Because you know what'll happen if you don't. Sterling cannons now! Put fire! 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 Huh? Uh huh? I... I was... I was a pirate then this time. Badness! Oh, we are staying around, cannons people? We must flee! Look we're sailors, we're not much of anything with a crew without a ship. Wait, I have a genius idea. We have a ship at hand. We found you said, Mario, take me to Cortez. That's my brain remember what you said. You said Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Fabio, what are you talking about? That's crazy! This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship? He'll cream you. Cream you. Hey man, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. And I have a heavy duty to protect you. You can't fall their thin way with their tongues. You must at least try, Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I'm your leader, and I will negotiate with Cortez. Yeah, Mario, take me to this power scum this instant. Alright. Well then. Flavio wants to go see Cortez. You can only imagine how this could have ended though. Thankfully, we have this shortcut. If we had to go through that entire dungeon again, I would have screamed so loud. But thankfully, the developers were nice enough. Ugh. Oh, what? It's you again. Did you forget something? C -c -c Cortez, I have to speak to you. Could you lend me your ship? What? What? What possesses would you think you lend me your ship? And who are you anyway? My, my name is Flavio. I'm in big trouble and could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So you just need to borrow your ship for the teeniest little while. What are you talking about, one child? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. <laughs> Even if I would lend it to you, this ship is magical and cannot move now. Keep power the ship is a skull, skull gem. The skull gem? You mean this? Yo! You have the skull gem? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I do, so. Alright, what is the of this proposition then? Take the gem, hand down through generations of my family, and lend us your ship. I think that's a pretty fair deal, do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend? Your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. And you must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into, pi into a piñata and throw a party on the beach. Wait, wait just a moment. Do not make me have Mario trance you again. 
Well, he fights you, I'll throw the stone to see where he'll never find it. How would you like that to be? Uh, you're on my own, and your peacock. Very well. Accept your bargain, amigo. Now, be very careful with that gem. Ah, uh, check and make, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by falling in negotiation, no. You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now, you take this. Ah, now my precious black skull will it'll seize again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. So Mario, right, feel free to think any time for saving. But now, we sail. Now let's get the hell out of here. And this is also one of the other times when uh, Flavio will be riding on your back as well for your little sheep. Hey, we're coming too. Let's get. <clears throat> it's been a millennium since I gazed upon the sea. Come on, to the open waters. So we have the embers on our side now. I'm sure the embers will probably still fight us if we went into the Toronto. <laughs> I got an ammo to spare. How about that? Boom, boss. Boom. You fire cannons here without my permission? You have nerve, mortal. I just love how the thing tears open. What the? Now coming up, this is actually more, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. To be perfectly honest, <coughs> Grr, I'm gonna sink this rather a little closer to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice, spirits, that take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. Harder, my captain, it's now your turn again. Get over there and duel back. Right. Here we go. Lord Crump again. And <clears throat> now, Lord Crump. Um. Kind of a bit too Lord Crump this time, because. <clears throat> it's like. I, I don't know what about this fight is. It's really unique, and I like the setting of it a lot. Oh shoot, no, 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 damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, damn it, one, plus one attack, I'm doing terrible with power lift. I'm usually not this damn terrible now. And I sucked that badly there that I could only get three hits on that stupid thing. And I don't need this spell right now either, you stupid game. Either way, the Lord Crump isn't actually all that hard. He's also really easy to super guard, too. <clears throat> Anyways, um... <clears throat> might as well try a power bounce while I can. I did an alright amount of damage. Okay, then. Let's finish off this stupid pile of x knots here. And, uh, power bounce again, I guess. And we still are doing a lot of damage to <coughs> Lord Crump. See how you like this? X knots! And <coughs> now, he actually does quite a few things in this here, in this part of the fight, too. Um. I'll try to gulp, actually, see how much that does. Oh, one hit point left! And now there's fog everywhere. Okay, drops in, dropping forks everywhere. Because <clears throat> that's a great attack to use. <clears throat> I don't think this fight's all quite over yet. I think there's something else into this fight. Yeah, basically he restores a lot of HP. And how much did he restore? Okay, all of his HP apparently. 
mini egg, I guess. <clears throat> oh crap, no. Lucky. Way to miss me both times, thanks to this fog. Way to super guard you. <clears throat> uh, power lift, I guess. Art attack may also not be too bad. Sweet Feast is basically like Sweet Treat, except it there's um <clears throat> a bit of an added bonus with it because there's sometimes larger icons that can heal like up to 5 HP at once, so you can get a lot of HP out of it. <clears throat> and same with like FP and stuff. Ah, oh, come on, how freaking <clears throat> little my boosts am I gonna be getting? Because some people can have up to times when they get like. A lot of HP, and I guess, yeah, I didn't think Gulp would work there. Yay to miss me there. Oh crap, this is not gonna end well at all here, I bet. Uh. <coughs> wow, I actually did a. How did I just almost kill him there? Oh my god, that's gonna definitely kill him for sure here. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. Alright, thank you. I don't know how I just did that, but I somehow did a lot that much. Man, this is getting old. How can I lose again? I hate losing. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus. And with that, pal, I'm gone. <sighs> I love how he just takes off like that. Yeah, 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 we whipped him. That loser, loser won't be getting in our face for a while. Sure, for, sure. There you go, eat seaweed. Yeah, we did it. Next, uh, excuse me, next time we're this house in your door, we'll finally be getting on to the post stuff. I know, this took all far too long. I'll see you guys next time, though.